Hello everyone, welcome back to our glory. Today I have a video about earwax removal. And I will explain you about what is earwax. Earwax, also known among medical professionals as cerumen, is a substance that plays a functional role inside the ear canal. It helps to protect the ear by trapping dirt. Before entering the canal and repelling water, as more wax is produced, the existing cerumen usually falls out of the ear naturally. However, in some cases excessive earwax can block the ear canal and interfere with hearing, as well as increasing the probability of ear infections. As a result, it becomes necessary to treat cerumen impaction to allow the ear canal to stay open and in optimal function. Causes It is possible for anyone to experience symptoms related to excessive buildup of earwax. Some people are more likely to affected, including people who naturally have a narrow-shaped ear canal. Regularly use your plugs or hearing aids, are elderly, have a developmental disability. Often use cotton swabs or put other materials inside their ear. Symptoms for people affected by earwax impaction. It is common to experience symptoms such as earache, hearing difficulty, tinnitus, itchiness of the ear, ear discharge, vertigo. In addition to these symptoms, and treated cerumen impaction can lead to other complications with more severe outcomes. This includes ear infection, perforated eardrum and pain in the ear. Treatment There are three common methods of intervention to treat excessive earwax, irrigation, topical eardrops and manual removal. Irrigation is the most common method used to removal cerumen by general practitioners. An oral jet irrigator is directed into the ear canal which loosens and removes earwax. This method is even more effective. If the ear is primed with topical eardrops before irrigation, it is not recommended to conduct irrigation in people with abnormalities of the ear canal or a history of ear surgery. Topical eardrops may be water or oil-based and work on the wax inside the ear canal to help soften or dissolve it for easier natural removal. Both types of eardrops have been shown to be more effective than placebo, although neither is more effective than the other. It is best if a medical professional conducts manual removal of earwax, as it is possible for the earwax to compact further causing greater blockage if individuals attempt to do this themselves. A visualization instrument is needed to navigate the ear canal, in addition to an instrument for removal, such as a loop, spoon or caret. What is earwax, ended. In next sound I will put the motivation speech. Thank you for your watching until end. Why not then? This is a good time. As the 20th century starts to wind down in more years as we get ready for century 21, what a good time to set your goal, work on yourself, work on your skills. What a good time to get it together. What a good time to start this process. Personal development, growing, changing, developing, having a good plan for your money and for your life and for your future. Why not then? What's God? Okay. No opportunities wasted. Listen to me carefully, God. Listen to me very carefully, God. Hear what I'm saying? This is important. There are 86,400 seconds in a day, and if you maximize each and every one of them, you will live like you want to live, you will have what you want to have, and you will be what you want to be. You can have more than you got because you can become more than you are. If you just remain how you are, you'll always have what you've got. But if you're willing to make changes, the next five years of your life can be totally different than the last five. If you don't change, chances are excellent the next five will be like the last five. For things to change, you've got to change. For things to get better, it's not what happens that determines your future. It's what you do about what happens. Direction determines destination. All you've got to do is make a little change in direction to arrive at a brand new destination in two years, three years, five years. 
you have to change your life. That is, you have to say, you know what, my body isn't there, I'm going to go work out. My relationship isn't there, I'm going to change it. You know, I'm not making what I'm going to make, I'm going to retool, I'm going to get a new skill, I'm going to go back to school, I'm going to start a business, I'm going to do something. You have to do something to change your life. Or, in order to be happy, you can't change your life, you're going to have to change your blueprint. Usually in life, it requires a little bit of change. That makes sense. And if you change your, take change your life and change your blueprint, you can have an extraordinary life. Because all of us are going to have times in our life when what we want or think life should be like isn't going to match how life really is. Those moments, if we blame, our life goes into pain. If we change, we can change our life to match our blueprint. The fact that you're not happy has nothing to do with what you have or don't have. The fact that you're not happy is that your life doesn't match the way you think it should be. You have some idea how you think it should be. Listen to me. There are those of you who what you're doing is that there are 10 opportunities in a day and you're taking advantage of seven of them and you think you think so. You gotta, you gotta hear me. You gotta hear me. You only have 24 hours in a day and you've heard me say this time and time again. The way you spend your 24 hours, it, it, it determines how you live. If you want the future to change for you, you've got to change. If you don't change, the next six years of your life is going to be just like the last six. You'll still be behind on your bills. You'll still be behind on your promises. No opportunity wasted. Again, no opportunity wasted. One of us can do it. Hey, we all can do it. I want to share with you how to reach your goals. I think the Bible's greatest motivational book ever been written. Now I want you to repeat after me, please. We gotta recondition our minds first. Let us say together good things are supposed to happen to me. Yeah, write that down. I want you to say that to yourself every day. See, we live in a world where we believe that bad things are supposed to happen to us. I remember the point in my life, Bishop, when things are going good for me, and I said, this is too good to be true. Something is bound to happen. Guess what? It did. Thou shalt decree a thing that shall be established unto you, and shall accomplish that whereunto it has been sent. Watch your words. Watch what you say about yourself, about your affairs. Be conscious of that on a daily basis. Why? Because your words are powerful. In the beginning was the word. Life and death is in the tongue. Watch what you say. Never say I'm broke. Say I'm overcoming a cash flow problem. Claim what you want, not what you don't want. So affirm good things are supposed to happen to me and begin to believe that, begin to expect that. Now, I was talking to my oldest son, Calvin, we we're going for a walk. And I said, Calvin, do you want to be successful? He said, yes, sir, Dad. So okay, we kept on walking. Then I stopped and I looked him in the eyes. It's my namesake, my junior. I said, Calvin, we're looking at each other eye to eye now. Do you expect to be successful? Given the fact that you are a single parent of two kids, given the fact that you decided not to go to college to further your education, Given the fact that you're very talented, but you're behind on your dreams and your bills, do you expect, based upon your performance, based upon what you produce at this point in time in your life, do you expect to be successful? And Calvin got quiet. Because see, if you ask most people at the Manpower Conference, do you want to be successful? 
Do you want to live a life of productivity? Do you want to live a life of contribution? Do you want to be a better father? Do you want to have your own business? Are there dreams you want? Everybody will say yes. But see, what shows up in conversation, expectation shows up in behavior. See, I can tell what you expect by what you do. That's why the Bible...